Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Reggie O'Brien Gymnasium at Wilby High School in Waterbury, Connecticut for tonight's Naugatuck Valley League matchup between the Wilby Wildcats and the Naugatuck Greyhounds. Both teams come into this game with a 1-0 record. Both teams opened the season this past Tuesday and grabbed wins as Wilby took down Derby in a high-scoring affair, 89-76. And Naugatuck faced another Waterbury team, Kennedy. And the Greyhounds came out on top 59-51. They overcame a late game deficit. They were down seven points going into the fourth quarter, but were able to turn it around and open the season with a victory. Alan Piccolo is the head coach of Wilby. He, he is in his 12th season. 127 wins now, balanced against 103 losses in his career. Michael Wilson is the head coach of Naugatuck, but you will not see him tonight. His wife, Lisa Mariano, who is the girls' soccer coach at Naugatuck, gave birth to a daughter yesterday. So congratulations to Mike and Lisa as they celebrate the birth of their daughter. It is Wilson's eighth season with the team, but tonight it'll be Jamal Francis and Brett Hayward taking control from the bench. Both of these teams are in Division II for the CIAC State Playoffs, the new five division format that is coming out this season. Division II, the second highest, and Division I is going to end up being the smallest division and it's basically by selection that those teams were placed in Division One. In the regular season in the NVL, Wilby plays in the NVL Brass Division, while Naugatuck plays in the NVL Iron. Last year, Naugatuck was 10 and 12 with a 26 seed in the Class Double L tournament, and they lost to Norwich Free Academy. Willoughby was 8 and 13 last year. They were the 32 seed in that same Double L tournament, and they fell to Notre Dame West Haven and their stacked team in last year's state tournament. And before we begin, we pause for the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. Both teams back for their final huddle as they look to get the season started off 2-0. After neither team had an over 500 record last year, will be 8-12 in the regular season. Naugatuck 
10 and 10. So a chance to get off on a positive note here early in the season for the Greyhounds and the Wildcats. I'm Tom Felice, and I'll be bringing you all the action of today's game as you get a look at the starting lineups for both teams. Elijah Robinson, the point guard for Naugatuck, joined on court by Gene Lucow, Jesse Lancey, Caleb Scott, and Latrell DeVoe. And on the other side for Wilby, and Christian Harris, Calvin Hicks, Ty Quay Harding, Damian Wade, as it's quickly knocked out of bounds the other way. And Dazan Mayo, your five starters for Wilby in the white. Naugatuck in the dark red as Lucal cuts inside and is fouled. So the first foul of the game charged to Calvin Hicks. Puts Lucal at the free throw line. He scored 23 points in a season opener. And he misses the first one here. Second one good for Lucal. Naugatuck with the first points of the game. Hicks to Harris to Harding, facing his own defense. Harris from the corner, no good on the three. An offensive rebound, and Wade with the putback. Wade will get another chance at it. No. He's called for traveling. And it's the first turnover of the game, giving it over to Naugatuck. 22 seconds in, the Greyhounds up 1-0. Three-quarter court press from Wilby. Pass underneath too low for Derek Gigello. So that was a late change to the starting lineup to have Gigello in there, and Wilby has it again. Wade, all alone underneath, is able to put it in. Very good pass to find Wade for the game's first field goal. Will be with another steal going the other way and Hicks puts it in and the foul. Will give him a chance for the three point play. Foul charge on Elijah Robinson, his first team's first. Hicks unable to convert on the free throw. It's tipped out of bounds and will stay with Wilby. Wilby ahead 4-1, just about a minute in. As Jaden Anderson checks in for Latrell Duvaux on the Naugatuck side. Inbounds pass, Harding. Hicks top of the key, now Harris right wing, pulls a three, and it's perfect. Seven straight points for Wilby. And a 7-1 lead as a foul is called. They get Harris for that, his first and the team's second. Just over a minute gone by here in Waterbury. Caleb Scott. Ready to inbound. Throws it into the backcourt. Big collision. Nothing doing as Robinson goes into the paint. Dishes it off. And Anderson was going up. And was hit in the attempt. Foul on Damian Wade. His first. Team's third. Wade will step to the free throw line for two. And he gets the first one to fall. One more attempt coming for the senior. Wade stands at six foot one, had 12 points in the season opening win. I uh, should say that was Wade who picked up the foul, but the free throws were made by Anderson, who made them both. Robinson into the paint again. And Mayo just 
or I should say Wade just picked up his second foul. Four team fouls already against Wilby with Elijah Robinson at the line. Will be now three of five from the stripe with one more coming. Wade checks out of the game. No good and Will be grabs the rebound. Hicks all the way inside. And a jump ball called. Minute 40 gone by. We'll be on top 7 3. There is some confusion at the scores table and a technical foul issued. There's a player with the number 10 on the court for Wilby. And he's not in my notes. And I checked everything with the official book. So I think the question is, who is number 10 and how do you end up on the court? And the technical foul is assessed against Wilby. Bukow <laughs> shooting the technical free throws. One of two. Nagatuck now four of eight from the stripe. And Nagatuck gets the basketball after the technical foul. Still some questions at the scores table. 6.21 to go first period. We'll be up 7-4. And it's Naugatuck ball. After the technical foul assessed for Wilby having a player on court who wasn't in the scorebook. Lukau on the right wing. Finds Robinson now at half court. Scott from the right wing. Short, grabs his own rebound. Jugello on the baseline. Hands off to Scott again. Scott finds Lucao, an all iron division player last year, Jean Lucao. Puts it up in traffic, no good. The rebound there for Jugello who lays it in for two. Cuts a deficit to one, 7-6, two and a half gone by. Harris from the free throw line. He's up to five points, the game's leading score. Low pass to Lucao. Top of the key, drives right side. Can't get it to fall. Wilby looks to run the other way. Into the paint. Mayo can't get the first one to go, or the second. Foul assist to Anderson, his first team second. And this puts the mystery man, number 10, at the free throw line for Wilby. Unable to hit the first. Second one rolls in. And the substitution coming. Ronte Williams, who played at Crosby last year, checks in. Lucao underneath Anderson for an easy two. Great look from Lucao to find him and cut the deficit to two. Harris puts it up and in. Harris now with seven points to lead all scores. 
Naugata calls timeout. They trail will be 12-8 with 4.46 to play in the first period. Harris leading all scores with seven. As he had a three pointer and then has been able to slash into the lane for a couple of easy layups. Wilby has already committed five team fouls. Barely three minutes in. Could come back to bite them here in the first half. Robinson listed at 5-9. Walks it across half court. Wild pass to Scott from Jesse Lancey. Lancey has it again. All the way to Lucao. Robinson. Lucao. And he is hit. Here's Hicks was charged with that foul, his second, team sixth. When they get Hicks out of there, with Antoine Black checking in. Now Wade and Hicks both have two fouls on the Wilby side. 4.20 to play in the first. Wilby ahead 12-8. Lucal with the ball for Naugatuck. Lancey, Lucao, called for the travel. Made a pretty big dribble before tossing it to the corner. And the turnover gives it back to Wilby. Lucao, substitute that was Latrell Duveau. Comes back in. Duveau started and was out of the game pretty quickly, but he's back on court now. Black, Williams from the corner for three. No good, off the top of the backboard. Naugatuck comes away with it. Robinson slashing into the lane. And he is fouled and will be heading to the free throw line for the one and one. Antoine Black charged with the foul. His first and the team's seventh. Robinson at the line for one. 0 of 1 from the stripe so far. Robinson. And he misses that one. The team now 4 of 9. Loose ball. Lancey with it. Bounce to just Scott. Right corner 3. Off the iron. Williams able to grab it. And he is fouled. Three and a half to play first period. We'll be ahead 12-8. Harris. Black in the lane, the lefty runner. For Antoine Black. Makes it a six point lead, tying the largest margin. It was seven to one. Earlier in the quarter, we'll be winning a 7-0 run. And here's a foul as Harris commits his second foul, knocking Caleb Scott to the floor. Harris will check out. Our man number 10 comes back in. Gene Lucan back into the game, taking out Jaden Anderson on the Naugatuck side. Scott from the free throw line makes the first to earn the second. On the one and one. Naugatuck now five of ten from the charity strike. Second attempt coming for Scott. And he makes it. Margin back to four at 14-10. Will be on top three minutes to go in the first. Robinson running. Bounce to Lucao who cannot finish.
Harris quickly the other way, all the way underneath to put it in for two. Harris now with nine points. Naugatuck just has 10, and it's 16-10 Wilby. 2.38 remaining first half. Scott, Lukau, Robinson, Lancy outside the arc. Scott, left corner three. Short, Lukau with the offensive rebound. Can't get the putback to fall. Still fighting for it. It's quickly the other way. Here's Harding. But he's called for steps. Robinson's pass goes right through Jesse Lancey's hands. 5'10", Junior Lancey unable to grab it. Williams, Harding can't hold on to it. Lukau in the clear and he slams it home. Four points now for Lukau as the offensive foul called against Christian Harris. By my count, that's Harris's third foul. In just the first quarter, Harris will head to the bench. 150 to play in the period, will be up 16-12. Robinson to Lancey. Lucal in the left corner. And he's got it. Five straight points for Lucal brings the game Within one, 16-15 will be as Harding is hit. Heading towards the rim. Jesse Lancey committing the foul. His first team's fourth as Harding's at the line for two. He makes the first. Second one rolls off, rebound off the backboard to Scott. Lucal in rhythm for three, just strong. And Williams grabs the board. Harding for three. Harding with it again. Through traffic, too strong off the board. I mean, Nagatuck ball as Harding was the last to touch it. A minute and a second to play here in the first period. Will be ahead 17 15. This one has been almost all with Will be in the lead. Nagatuck scored the game's first point. And it's been Will be in the lead after that. Lukau now has seven points to lead Naugatuck. Here's Robinson to Scott. Bounce pass to the left corner. Bennett, Lukau from the left wing for three. Naugatuck in the lead, 18-17. Half a minute to play in the first period. Harding. Williams, Harding again. Black, it's deflected. Lukau. Going in, and it's knocked away, but Harding called for the foul. First foul against Harding will put Luke Cow at the free throw line. Now 10 team fouls in the first period for Wilby. The two free throws the rest of the half for Naugatuck. Luke Cow, two of four from the stripe. Makes the first. One more coming for the junior. And he makes it. Twelve to 
12 points for Liu Cao of his team's 20. Five seconds in the period. Into the plate, Williams with the up and under. And the first period ends. Naugatuck 20, will be 19. As Williams had that late up and under for his first points. After one quarter, Naugatuck up by a point on Wilby, 20 to 19. Tom Felice here at Wilby High School. Second game of the season for both teams. Both were victorious. Their first time out, Wilby starts with the ball, looking to take the lead back. And immediately there's a foul called against Naugatuck. Charge to Jaden Bennett, his first team's fifth. Just three seconds in to the second period. Fouls a story in the first quarter. Will be committing 10 team fouls. Nagatuck will be shooting free throws the entire quarter. Williams on it for Wilby. And the floater from Dazan Mayo. His first two points. We'll be back on top. 21-20, 20, 20 seconds into the second quarter. Robinson called for steps on the jump stop into the move. And a travel going the other way against Ronte Williams. Naugatuck gets it back. Scott, deep right wing. Lukau. Scott with it again to Gigello. Nagatuck taking the deliberate offense. Lucao, Gigello, and Lucao again. No breakdown goes to Scott, who nails the three. His first field goal. Nagatuck back on top, fourth lead change of the game. Jello with it. Minute and a half into the second period. Naugatuck up 23-21 as Lukau adds two more. He has 14 points to lead all scores. It's a five-point lead for Naugatuck. Their largest margin. Lukau again. <laughs> 16 points for Gene Lukau. Wilby calls timeout after the second Luke Cow dunk of the evening. 
6.07 to play in the first half. Naugatuck with their largest lead at 27-21. A quick seven points for the Greyhounds to grab this lead. Lukau with four free throws in six attempts. Two three-pointers and two dunks to go along with it, showing the all-around game that earned Jean Lukau a best-of-the-rest nod in the Republican-American preseason. Free throw, three-pointer, I should say, long there. Another chance for Hobbs. He scores his first two points. Back to a four point margin at 27-23. Naugatuck leading, 5.40 to play first half. Robinson to Scott, pass tipped into the backcourt, no harm for Robinson to reclaim it. Long pass underneath Lancey, eventually grabs it. Can't get it to go with the right hand. Hobbs with the rebound. Jesse Lancey commits his second foul. Robinson steals the inbounds pass to Lucal, and he got it. It bounced in for Gene Lucal. He's up to 19 points. He had 23 in the season opener. And Lancey just picked up another foul. That'll be his third. The good news for his team is Nogatuck has a seven point lead. as Shane Carey comes in for Lancey. After Lancey picked up his third. Foul trouble, of course, on the Wilby side. Christian Harris with three fouls in the first quarter. We have not seen him since. Here's Ronte Williams at the line. And he makes the first, the front end of the one and one. Wilby was two of five on free throws in the first period. Williams unable to hit on the second. It's tipped out of bounds, last touch by Wilby. It will be Naugatuck ball. Nagatuck on a 10-3 run. Carey underneath his first hoop. Nagatuck now is the largest lead of the game. They're up by eight with 4.35 to play in the first half. Three-pointer well long. The attempt is no good, but there was a foul called. Here's the foul one on Scott, 14, and it has the now infamous number 10 at the free throw line. He makes the first, and we'll have one more coming. Number 10 checked in during the first quarter, and it caused mass confusion. His name was not in the scorebook. Wilby was charged with a technical foul. Both free throws good there. Got the lead back to six. Lukau for Naugatuck. Robinson all the way underneath. And Robinson is out of bounds. And turnover gives it back to Wilby. Hector Beltran, number 25 with the ball now on court for the first time 
for the Wildcats. Here's Williams. Right corner for Hicks. Williams again into the paint. Right hand runner short. 10 with the rebound, he can't hit. But he'll head to the free throw line for two. Just under four minutes gone by, second quarter. Naugatuck had 32-26 on Wilby. The Wildcats doing well to cut in to the lead from the free throw line. Beltron checks out. Rohan Daly into the game. Second free throw rolls off. And the rebound to Naugatuck. Robinson will look to slow things down. The foul trouble is definitely held back will be as Christian Harris had nine points in the first quarter but he also had three fouls. Lucao from the right corner. That's an air ball. Fight for the loose ball. And on the possession arrow it should stay with Naugatuck. Three and a half to play first half. Five point lead for the Naugatuck Greyhounds. No good, the tip won't fall for Scott. And Wilby looks to run. Williams with the right hand, good, and the foul. Williams with a chance to cut the lead to two points if he can hit this foul shot. And he does. Six straight points for Wilby to get back within two with 3.10 to play in the second quarter. Interior pass, tough grab. Robinson. Scott for three, and it's pure. Second three of the game for Scott. He's up to eight points overall. Five point lead again for Naugatuck. Underneath, a good job by Hicks. And the offensive foul called against Robinson. Wilby could tie it on this possession, down 35-32. 2.39 to go in the first half in what has been a physical game. Both teams in the double bonus. Williams puts it up and in with the right hand. Williams starting to take over. He now has eight points back to a one point game at 35-34. Scott for three, just hit one from there, not this time. DeVoe can't hit from close range. And what's the call gonna be here, out of bounds or a foul? Just out of bounds against Wilby. Naugatuck will take the ball, baseline underneath. Up by one, pass to Lucal. that's rejected. And now a jump ball, arrow goes to Wilby. Wilby trailing 35-34. 2.04 remaining first half as Naugatuck shows a press but they quickly retreat. Williams. Hobbs, Hobbs. Underneath, but Rohan Daly, the six foot four junior, can't hold on to it. Heads back over to Naugatuck. Scott. Lucal pulls the three and hits it. 
The fourth three-pointer of the game for Jean-Luc Cow, who now has 22 points. Naugatuck ahead by four. Hobbs into the paint. And he's able to fight that one in. Back to a two-point game, 38-36 Naugatuck. 70 seconds remaining first half. Robinson, Lucal, left wing again, hits it again. Five first half three pointers for Jean Lucal. Nogatuck ahead 41 36 in the final minute of the first half. Loose ball underneath. It'll be Rohan Daly heading to the free throw line. Twenty-five points for Jean Luc in a dominating first half performance. Daly makes his first free throw with one more coming. Second one well short. And Naugatuck with the rebound. 35 seconds to go first half. Lucal, five three-pointers already. Stands with it outside the arc. See if Naugatuck holds for the final shot. Instead, it's a three from Lucal, and he banks it home. When it rains, it pours. Six three-pointers in the first half for Lucal. 10 seconds in the period. Harding out to Williams for a three. That's no good. Five seconds. Lucal from the right wing for three. And it's good. Jean Lucal with seven first half three pointers. And Nogatuck heads into halftime with a 47. 37 lead. 29 points for Lou Cow at the break. We'll step aside, come back for the second half from Wilby High School. Just about ready to start the second half here in Waterbury. Naugatuck ahead of Wilby, 47-37 at the break. The first half story, Jean-Luc Cow, the six foot one junior for Naugatuck with 31 first half points. He had seven three pointers, including five in a row to end the first half and build a 10 point lead for the Greyhounds. Lucao averaged a shade under 16 points per game last season. Had 23 points in the season opener against Kennedy and now 31 points 
in the first half against Wilby. Christian Harris led Wilby with nine points, but he had foul trouble, three fouls in the first quarter, and he didn't see action after that. Both teams with their fair share of free throws will be 8 of 14. Naugatuck 8 of 13 at the charity stripe in the first half. It's Naugatuck ball to start the second half. Naugatuck in the maroon will be in the white. Robinson at the point to Caleb Scott. Now DeVoe to Jello. Called for the offensive foul. Now you know what? They call that the moving screen, so that goes on DeVoe, not Jello. His first, first of the second half. And immediately a substitution. Jaden Anderson in for DeVoe. Anderson had four points in the first half. Did not have much playing time. Ty Quay Harding with it. He was shut out in the first half. Back to Harris. Christian Harris. Harding again. Pass. Is a rye and Robinson goes the other way and lays it in for two. Great job by Robinson to create some room for himself with his body. And quickly back the other way inside. Mayo draws the foul against Anderson. That'll be his third. Ticks who will step up to the free throw line. And he makes the first. Second free throw for Hicks. And the lefty is way short. It's out of bounds and will be Naugatuck ball. Greyhounds up by 11, 45 seconds in to the second half. Robinson to Lucao. He is being tightly guarded after scoring 31 first half points. Pass out of bounds. And it will belong to Wilby. We do have an answer as to who number 10 is on Wilby. That's Angel Gonzalez. Remember he checked in he was not in the scorebook, and a technical foul was given to Willoughby. Ty Quay Harding with his first field goal. Naugatuck lead cut to eight at 49-41. Elijah Robinson, the junior, finds Gigello underneath, and Anderson is able to put it in. So all underclassmen putting it together there as Harris takes a quick three. That won't fall. The rebound and the putback. Good for Damian Wade. He's now up to four points on the day. Gigello into the paint. Stolen away. Long pass from Harding up ahead. Harris there for two. Jamal Francis on the Naugatuck bench. Calls timeout. The lead for Naugatuck now is six, the closest it's been here in the second half at 51 45, 553 remaining third quarter. With a 10 point margin at halftime, Naugatuck scored the first basket 
of the half to make it a 12 point lead. But an 8 1 run. And Wilby is back within six. Mentioned in the first half, Naugatuck's head coach, Mike Wilson, not with the team tonight. His wife, Lisa, gave birth to a daughter yesterday. So the Wilson Mariano family together. Naugatuck is off until after Christmas. When this one wraps up, they play Holy Cross, which should be another tough battle on the 27th. Wilby plays again on Saturday, the 23rd, and then they're off until the new year. Wilby goes down to South Perry to take on Pomperdog on Saturday. Robinson with it for Naugatuck, and he loses it out of bounds. Wilby looking to run as Harding comes across half court to Harris from just inside the arc and Christian Harris with four second half points to four point game. Five and a half to play third quarter. Naugatuck looking to play at a much slower pace than Wilby, but they haven't been able to do too much in the half court here in the second half. Lukau, mid range pull up, won't fall. Lukau ends up on the deck, Wilby runs. A low pass, but Harding is able to put it in. Twelve-two run for the Wildcats to make it a two-point game. Jagello called for steps, and there's some life in the Reggie O'Brien Gymnasium. A two point game. 51 49, Naugatuck. 4.45 remaining third period. Harris into the corner, the three no good. Rebound kept inbounds, and Scott grabs it for Naugatuck. Scott, left corner for Bennett. And an offensive foul called on Latrell DeVoe. And a technical foul issued as well. So set up a chance for Wilby to tie it from the free throw line. And you know what, the technical foul went against Wilby. Maybe they were matching. We'll see if we end up at the other end. So Damian Wade given one. Jagello misses the first free throw. His first time at the stripe today. And he makes the second. So the technical was just assessed to Wade. And it's Naugatuck's ball after a player control foul and a technical foul. Lancey gets an inbounds to Bennett. Loose pass towards midcourt. And it's a backcourt violation. The official saying it was not deflected as the Naugatuck bench was signaling for. And Wilby takes over again down by three. 417 to play third period. Harding to Harris. Harris from inside the arc can't hit. And a foul called as Hicks went for the putback. Hicks will look to add to his five points. He's one of three from the free throw line today. Will be nine of 16. Two shots coming up for Hicks. First one is pure. Hicks a sophomore 
guard. Both of these teams with underclassmen playing big roles. Naugatuck even more than Wilby. Second one short. Naugatuck with the rebound. Jaden Bennett looks to slow things down. Jagello with a three from the top of the key. No good, but he was fouled. Calvin Hicks committing the foul. And Jagello, who's one of two from the line, will have three attempts from the stripe right here. 52-50. Now 53-50, Naugatuck ahead of Wilby. Just past the halfway mark in the third period. Jagello makes it count. Banging in all three free throws. It's now a five point lead, but the quick answer from Harrison. Six second half points for Christian Harrison. 3.45 remaining third quarter. Nogtuck ahead 55 52. Robinson, Jagello from the left wing. Rolls out. Rebound for Harris. Up ahead, Harding with the easy lay in. One point game once again will be last had the lead at 17-15. Foul on the floor against Mayo. Lancy from the left corner. Well long. Harris has it knocked away. Bennett and Harris fighting for it. And it's a jump ball. Goes Willby's way on the alternate possession. Chance for the Wildcats to jump on top. Naugatuck had 55-54, 3.10 to go. Third period. Ronte Williams. Who had eight first half points, finds Harris into the paint. Right hand runner short. Offensive rebound, Gonzalez. And now he's given a technical foul as he started talking to the player who <laughs> fouled him and then the Naugatuck player claps in his face. So Bennett's gonna be given a technical foul as well. So Bennett gets one, Gonzalez gets one. So with exactly three minutes to go in the third period, Naugatuck with a one point lead. The rail's coming off a little bit on both sides. Gonzalez misses the first free throw for Wilby. We'll have one more opportunity. And he makes the second one. That ties the game. And I guess those were technically the, the foul shots, not the technical shots. With both teams getting a technical, they might offset. Now the official's talking. And it's going to be Naugatuck ball. So we're back to live play, tied at 55, three minutes to go in the third after the double technicals offset. Lucao. An offensive foul called. And it's 
going to be on Lukau, just his first foul, as he created some extra room for himself. This is the first time today the game has been tied as we're even at 55. And Harris with the hoop, correcting an earlier statement. This is the first lead for Wilby since 21-20. Now it's 57-55 with two and a half to play in the third. Lukau is yet to score in the third period. Naugatuck can't get him the ball. Jagello. Still on his dribble and timeout for Naugatuck. Tough defense from Willoughby, especially denying any passes to Jean Lucal, the first half star who had 31 points with seven three pointers. Fifty-seven, fifty-five. the Wilby lead. They led for most of the first quarter. But after that, Naugatuck has led the entire way until this moment. And the lead change. Naugatuck in possession. And they've been having some Offensive issues. Here's Robinson, the point guard, Elijah Robinson. Picks up his dribble in a tough spot, gets it to DeVoe, and Robinson can reset the offense. Under two to play third period. Will be ahead by two. Duvaux into the paint, called for steps. Will be with a 20 to eight advantage here in the third quarter. They'll look to extend their two point lead as we hit the 100 second mark. Harding. Black back to Harding. Harris from deep. High rebound, Gonzalez. He can't hit. And a foul called on the floor against Naugatuck. They get Robinson for the foul. Seventeen fouls now on Naugatuck. So this is one and one. Harding can't hit the first. And quickly the other way, Lancey ties the game with his first field goal. That three is no good. Jagello with the rebound to Lucao. And he can't hit on the runner. Lucal, after 31 first half points, yet to score here in the third period. Harris for three. No good. Black with the rebound. Harding for three, and he hits. Harding with 10 points in the third. Naugatuck ahead 60 to 57. 41 seconds remaining in the third period that has been a drastic turnaround. At halftime, Naugatuck led 47-37. Now Wilby leads 60-57. 23 points to 10 points. Wilby 
with the third period advantage. It certainly helps to have Christian Harris back on the floor after his first half foul trouble. Harris with eight points. Harding has 10. That's 18 of the 23. Will be able to look to keep things going. Naugatuck looking for some answers. They haven't found a way to get Lukau open in scoring opportunities. And in fact, he's on the bench. Might just be getting him a long rest with the timeout and just 41 seconds left in the period. Here's Lancey with it for Naugatuck. Now Caleb Scott. Scott had eight first half points, scoreless in the third. Lancey. All the way underneath. Lancey with the left hand for two. Lancey now with four points. Here's Harding. And an offensive foul called as Jagello draws the charge against Tyquay Harding. One point game will be on top of Naugatuck with 16 seconds to go in the quarter. Scott called for the offensive foul as he pushed off to create some room against the tight D from Dazan Mayo. And now Wilby can get the last shot of the period. Christian Harris back in. They had taken him out to avoid foul trouble. So he can work his magic on the offensive end. Just nine seconds for Harris. Harris to his right, into the paint. Puts it up, no good off glass. The rebound tipped, and Nagatuck comes away with it. Heading to the fourth quarter. Will be ahead of Nagatuck. 60-59. Tom Felice here at the Reggie O'Brien Gymnasium at Wilby High School. The Wilby Wildcats with a 60-59 lead heading to the fourth period. Now for Naugatuck, not an unfamiliar position. They trailed by seven heading in the fourth quarter and had a big comeback against Kennedy in the season opener. Wilby didn't have much trouble with Derby. First time out, Lucal can't hit. Rebound for Duvaux. Now Lancey has it. Up top to Caleb Scott. Pass up ahead to Harris. And he puts it in. Harris now with 19 points. And it's a three point lead. Foul called against Ronte Williams. His foul, the team's fifth foul. Naugatuck has committed eight fouls in the second half. So this is not a shooting 
occasion for Naugatuck. The ball goes into Robinson. Robinson underneath, can't get it to hit. Lucal puts it up no good through traffic. And Harding the rebound for Wilby, but Lucal grabs the steal. Lucal dumps it off for Bennett, and Lucal reclaims it. Just over a minute gone by in the fourth period. Lucal with the runner in it falls. His first points of the second half brings Naugatuck within one. 6.40 to play. Harris. Harding. Harris up top from the left elbow, and he hits it. Harris now with 21 and a three-point lead for Willoughby at 64-61. Minute 40 into the fourth and final period. Robinson down the lane and he's bumped. Foul against Damian Wade. Robinson, 0 of 3 from the stripe so far today. And he misses again. No, I could talk 12 of 19 from the foul line. Will be 11 of 21. A lane violation called. So it's going to be another chance for Robinson. Robinson misses again. And a rebound for Wilby. Quickly the other way, the chance. No, the tip from Harris is good. Five point lead for Wilby. Lancey with the hoop and the harm. Monte Williams checking out for Wilby. Caleb Scott out for Naugatuck as Lancey can't hit the free throw. And Wilby grabs it. Tyquay Harding. Hicks. Harding 4 3. Off back iron. Hicks with the rebound. Five and a half to play. Wilby up three. As Robinson grabs it and looks to run. Robinson right at the defense. Can't hit. And now a jump ball. And it'll head over to Wilby. There was some contact, and the refs kept play going. Ends up with Willoughby basketball. Willoughby had two six-point leads in the first half. That's their largest lead. They just had one of five before the Lancy hoop. Harding. Too strong in the baseline. Wade can't hit the putback. Trying again, Damian Wade will head to the free throw line for two. It'll be the first time at the stripe today for Wade. Jaden Anderson checks in for DeVoe. First one for Wade is too strong. Rolls 
comes out, Wade can't hit either free throw. Robinson quickly down court, and he is fouled. Harris will be called for the foul. That's his fourth. Called for the body. Seventh team foul. But it looked like it was shooting. Now the eighth team foul. Both teams in a single bonus. Don't expect that to last too long as Robinson heads to the striper. He is 0 of 5. And he misses another one. Robinson banks that one home. Not pretty, but it works. To get the game within two, 66-64, 4.45 remaining. Hicks throws it up top, Harris. And a blocking foul called against Elijah Robinson. This will result in two free throws as Robinson just fouled out. This will result in two free throws for Christian Harris. Harris with 23 points, the leading scorer for Wilby. This is first time at the free throw line tonight. And he misses that attempt, one more coming. Harris, a 5'11 senior, preseason first team in the Republican American. Averaged 14 and a half points last season. And he misses the second as well. Lucao with the rebound. Lucao underneath. Anderson for two to tie the game. So with Robinson out, Lucao taking over ball handling duties. And had a great assist there. Harding, too strong. Anderson the rebound and he's hit. <laughs> Foul against Damian Wade. That's five for him, so he fouls out. Follows Elijah Robinson. Who just fouled out on the Naugatuck side. This one's even at 66, 416 to play in the fourth quarter. One and one, that was the ninth team foul. A one and one for Anderson. He's two of two today, and he banks the first. Becoming a familiar way to make the free throws on the Naugatuck end. That one no good, Scott. Tips the rebound to Lucao who can't hit. Harris away with it. Into the paint through some traffic. And the foul called on Gonzalez it appears. The 10th team foul for Wilby. And we'll send Anderson right back to the line. This will be two attempts. Anderson misses the first. Nogatuck now 50%, 13 of 26 from the foul line. Second one no good, Harris with the rebound. Four minutes to go, Nogatuck up by one. Hicks. Blocked from behind with a foul called on against Anderson for the block. Shane Carey ready to check back in. Might be for Anderson who now has four fouls.
the officials talking things over. There might be a question as to who committed the foul or who should be shooting. The signal going 2-5. That's Jaden Anderson. Jamal Francis, the acting head coach for Naugatuck, getting an answer. Yes. Anderson heads to the bench. And since he went out on the two shots, I have to think that was his fifth foul. And Anderson has fouled out as well. Hard to keep track. We are based on the opposite side of the scores table. The other opposite side of the court from the scores table. As Hicks hits the first free throw. And the second one as well. So Hicks with two points. With exactly four minutes to go. Wilby has a one point lead. Here's Lucal. 31 first half points, just two so far in the second. Lucal all the way underneath, puts it up too strong. Knocked away from behind by Wilby, and Harris has it now. Finds Tyquay Harding. Hicks right wing three. Well long. Scott picks it up. Scott to Jesse Lancey. Now Lucao has it. 3.20 to go. Will be up by a point. Lucao into the paint with a right hand runner. Good. 35 points now for Jean Lucao. And Naugatuck back on top. Right corner three, Harding. In and out. Scott with a strong rebound for Naugatuck. And he comes out of traffic with the ball as well. And gets a stop sign from Jamal Francis on his bench. 2.45 to go. Naugatuck up by a point. Lukau with the right hand. Can't get it to go. And that pass is intercepted. Scott right back into the paint. Drops it off. And Shane Carey with his second Bucket of the game. Three point lead with two and a half to go. Harris quickly the other way, can't get it to fall. Lancey throws it ahead for Lucao. Jean Lucao is hit. And they'll call it an intentional foul. Hicks committing the foul that will result in two free throws and possession. Lucao, four of six from the line today. And there's some debris on the court. First free throw good for Lucao. He's up to 36 points and a chance to add to it. And he does just that. Nogatuck 15 of 29 from the free throw line. Will be 13 of 27, so similar percentages. But it's quickly now a five point lead for Nogatuck. 2.23 remaining. Lucal with the ball into the paint. And he was fouled. When Robinson fouled out of the game, for Naugatuck. Jean Lucao was handed the reins and he's been able to turn it on and create some offense. He'll have a chance, two more chances here from the free throw line. And he makes the first. Second one rolls out for Lucao. It's tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Lancey. Six point lead for Naugatuck. 2.18 to go. And Lancey called for the foul about 85 feet from his own basket. 
Lancey fouling out. And we'll put Christian Harris at the line. Harris with 23 points, but he's 0 of 2 from the stripe. Jaden Bennett checking in. Is, this has been a game of attrition. Players fouling out for both sides. Technical fouls on both sides. Free throw, no good from Harris. Second chance, and that one's good. And quickly a steal, Harris can't get it to go. A jump ball called. Arrow gives it to Nogata. They have a five point lead with 2.09 to go. And bounce pass to Bennett, tipped away from him. Will be away with it. And they'll keep possession as Ronte Williams had it knocked out of bounds. Ball goes to Nogatuck. The baseline ref didn't have a good look at it. They left it to the far away ref to make the call and he sent the ball Nogatuck's way with 1.59 to go. 74-69. Greyhounds on top. What has been a tight second half. Wilby was down by 10 at halftime. They were able to turn things around, had a 12-2 run, and eventually took the lead coming into the fourth quarter. But Nogatuck able to answer back. jean Lucal, 31 first half points, held scoreless in the third. He now has seven in the fourth as he's taking over some more offensive responsibilities with the point guard, Elijah Robinson, fouling out. Nogatuck will have it with a five point lead. Inbounds pass to Lucal. Gets it across half court and looks to slow things down. Lucal has the pass tipped away. Last touch by Nogatuck. It looked like Willoughby was the last to touch it, but the officials don't see it that way. It's Willoughby ball with 1.46 to go. Harris, Williams, Mayo, Harris again to the free throw line, pulls up and hits. Harris with 26 points. Lucal gets it across half court and it's kicked. They'll call the kick on Mayo on the ground. Naugatuck basketball, 126 to play. Greyhounds lead by three. Pass goes to Gigello in the backcourt. Naugatuck has had success when they've been able to get the ball in Lukau's hands, and he has it now. 38 points for the junior Lukau. And he's called for an offensive foul. <laughs> Player control foul means no free throws, but the ball for Wilby down by three with 108 to play. Williams, Harding. Hicks picks up his dribble, bounce pass to Harris. 
And he's fouled. And oh, they call the offensive foul. Gigello draws the charge. Alan Piccolo disagreeing as Harris has committed his fifth foul and the leading score for Wilby has fouled out of the game. Christian Harris with 26 points is done for the day with just under a minute to go and Nogatuck up by three and Wilby's leading scorer out of the game. Lucal long pass ahead to Gigello. With the steal here, Hicks throws it up ahead to Mayo for two. Timeout will be a one point game with 46.6 to play. Full timeout. As Dazan Mayo put it in for two, just his second field goal. And now just a one point game with 46.6 seconds to go. Christian Harris, the leading scorer for Wilby, fouling out. Damian Wade, senior forward, also fouling out. Elijah Robinson and Jaden Anderson have fouled out on the Naugatuck side. Gene Lucal, 38 points to lead the way for Naugatuck. Look for the ball to be in his hands. As the Greyhounds try to seal this win, both teams with season opening wins, looking to make it 2-0 on the campaign. Got inbounding. Pass to Lucao, who's able to grab it. And Mayo commits the foul that will send Lucao to the line. Lucao, 7 of 10 from the stripe today. He's hit three of his last four. Mayo heads to the bench as it's Ducao at the stripe for two. And he can't hit the first. Antoine Black is a player who checked in for Mayo as Ducao makes the second. Two point lead for Naugatuck, 40 seconds to play. Williams head of the key. Harding. Here's Calvin Hicks into the paint. And the foul called inside. Expect that to go on Jaden Bennett. And it does. A chance to tie the game at the free throw line. Here's Calvin Hicks. Four of seven. In his free throw attempts today, and he can't hit the first. Still 30.8 seconds to play. Nogatuck with a two point lead. Hicks looking to cut it to one. And he is not as he misses both. Shane Carey, the rebound for Nogatuck. Lucal ahead to Scott. That is tipped out of bounds, and it goes to the Greyhounds. 24.3 to play now. Two point Naugatuck lead and they have the ball. Scott throws it into the backcourt, Gigello, and he's bumped. 
the triple team came and Hicks commits the foul. That's five for him, so he's fouled out. Now five players fouling out. And Gigello will be at the free throw line for two, where he's four of five so far today. Gigello was fouled in a three-point attempt and made all three free throws. And he has not scored since. Ashton Hobbs checks in as Hicks has to go to the bench after fouling out with just 23 and a half seconds to go. Two free throws here for Derek Gigello. He had 9.6 rebounds in the season opener and he misses the front end. Second attempt upcoming for Gigello. And he hits. Three point lead for Naugatuck. Three pointer on the way for Wilby, no good. Rebound tipped, Lukau has it, finds Scott. And the foul given. It would be Caleb Scott at the free throw line. He's two of two on the day. Hit a three-pointer in the season opener to tie the game at 50. And make it the first time that Nogtuck wasn't facing a deficit. Now he looks to ice the second game of the season, but he misses the first free throw. One more coming here for Scott. Can't hit that one either. Gonzalez the rebound. Harding for three in the tie. No good, and a foul called in the rebound attempt. Gonzalez will be given a technical as well as he spiked the ball after committing the over the back foul. Six point nine seconds to play. This one's certainly not over. Nogatuck ahead 76-73. Shane Carey stepping to the free throw line. And he makes the first. Another attempt coming for Carey. Can't hit this one. Now it will be Jean Lucao at the stripe. He has a chance to get to 40, and he does. And 40 points now for Jean Lucao. But he misses the second one. 78 73, Nogatuck ahead of Wilby. 6.9 seconds to play and it's Naugatuck ball. Pass into Lucao and he's wrapped up. Hector Beltran giving the foul. Chance for Lucao to add to his total. Jean-Luc Howe with a great start to the season. 23 points in the season opener. He's at 40 points right now. With a chance to add one more. Nugtuck up by five with five seconds to play. Luc Howe makes the second, so he has 41 points. Harding with it for Wilby. And a last second heave is no good. Naugatuck takes this one. 79, 73. The Greyhounds move to two and zero on the season. Willby falls to one and one. 
A valiant effort by Willoughby. They had a 12-2 run in the third period to get back on top, but they weren't able to hold on in the fourth quarter. And Naugatuck comes out on top, 79-73. That wraps things up from here in Waterbury. For DET Sports Media, I'm Tom Felice. Thank you so much for watching Waterbury Basketball. Thank <laughs> you.